My husband's daughter is jealous of my daughter and destroyed her gaming setup, so I kicked her out until she can pay for it, but she hasn't been farming so I'm letting her stay homeless. I, 30F, married my husband Mark, 46M, 6 years ago. We each brought our own kids into this marriage, I brought my daughter, Leia, 14F, and he brought his two kids, Koi, 16M, and Coral, 14F. Mark and I have the kids full time, but his children live with their mom for a few weeks during the summer. They moved into my lake house, which has five bedrooms. Two of the bedrooms upstairs have bathrooms, and my daughter had one of those rooms, but as the girls began high school, Coral began complaining about not having a bathroom and said it's unfair. To which Mark and Koi told her to stop complaining. Leia said it was fine and asked us if she could turn the basement into her room. I didn't like that idea, but she begged, so I agreed. Turns out my daughter wanted a room makeover, so this worked out. We give the kids allowance and allowed them to get a work permit. Koi worked at an arcade and told the girls he could get them jobs. Koro refused to work, but Leia agreed. After five months of saving her allowance, she was able to buy everything she needed to decorate. Coral never bothered to go down there because she believed it was full of spiders, but Koi was down there every day helping her. After a week, she completely transformed the basement. She invited everyone down, and it was stunning. I didn't even know the computer towers could be clear. She looked so proud. Coral then screamed that it wasn't fair and that she wanted the basement now. Everyone began telling her off, but she began crying, and before we knew it, she ran over to the computer and threw the tower on the ground. The glass shattered and one of the monitors fell to the floor too, also breaking. What the freaking bleep Coral? My daughter started crying, and I explained to Mark that Coral has to pay for this. He said her emotions are just high and that we'll get situated when everything calms down. I ran to Coral and yelled at her, saying that she's on punishment. Mark didn't agree, but I didn't care. Coral was unnecessarily crying and ran to her mother's car. Koi was trying to help my daughter and Mark tried to hand her $300, but Koi explained that Coral caused about $1,000 worth of damages. He said luckily the expensive pieces in the case were saved, but the case itself was about $450 and the monitor was $200. Mark was shocked it costs that much and said he doesn't have that kind of money. So I said she can't come back until my daughter's stuff is repaired with a sincere apology. Koi agreed and Mark was upset, saying he couldn't do that to his daughter. I told him to leave if that's the case. Mark left for a few hours and handed my daughter a check for $1,000, but I explained that Coral can't come back if there is no punishment. My husband's ex-wife is saying that I'm banning her from our home because she didn't deserve that bigger space and that we were treating Coral unfairly. But I said she did, and there was nothing unfair about the situation, and the ex just hung up. Now, my husband's ex-in-laws are flooding him with phone calls, saying he's a horrible dad. His sister even said he's being a bad parent, and they're best friends, so it's really getting to him. This happened last night, and he hasn't gotten up yet. Did I go too far in punishing Coral? My daughter was really upset after having her hard work destroyed like that. Update 1. I found out the complete story, and there is a lot of drama. It's over a boy, I'll explain. So both my daughters are cheerleaders, and there's a Valentine's Day dance coming up. All of Coral's friends are cheerleaders, and they all date football players except her. So for the past month, her friends have been trying to hook her up with a boy, let's call him Brad. But it turns out Brad is interested in Leia. After all the games, Brad talked with Leia. So Coral came up with a rumor that Leia plays Roblox. It's not really a rumor, but Brad found out. So after school a few days before the incident, Coral tells Brad how childish Leia is for still playing Roblox, and Brad says he doesn't think it's childish. Turns out him and his friends play and then invited Leia to join them. Then yesterday after school in the hallway, Brad and his friends recorded this big proposal to the dance that included flowers and chocolate, and Leia accepted. Apparently, Coral was crying at cheerleading practice, and Leia went up to ask what's wrong and if she needs anything. Coral and her friends started cursing Leia out, so Leia just backed off. Then this morning, Coral posted on Facebook about how Leia is the favorite child and that she was kicked out of her decorated bedroom in order for Leia to have it. Her mom, Andrea, had also posted something similar. Koi didn't want this to ruin Leia's reputation, so he posted everything about their lies. He also posted a picture of the shattered case and explained how everything Coral said was a lie and how Leia was nice enough to give up her bedroom. Andrea also called us some horrible names. Then Koi responded that the reason the custody is no longer 50-50 is because Andrea's husband hates kids. Apparently, Coral didn't know this, but Andrea sent my husband a text saying he knows how her husband feels about the kids being here, so he needs to make up with Coral and let her come back to my house. Mark then screenshotted this and sent it to Coral. She came home and went straight to her room. Given that she skipped practice, I think it's gotten pretty bad. Leia is on her way, so when she gets home, we'll have a family meeting. Update 2. So, we had a long talk. Coral came down and apologized to Leia, saying she was jealous about Brad. She also apologized to me for lying to her aunt. She believed that Leia got everything she asked for. So I had her explain, and the only thing she said was Brad. As I was about to explain, Mark stepped in and told her that wasn't everything. 
Mark then explained everything Coral got, which included a room makeover that Leia had to pay for on her own. A brand new laptop after Leia had to pay for her entire computer setup. He then asked, is this really about a guy that she doesn't have anything in common with? Coral then told us how popular he was, and that because Leia is more of a nerd type of person, they don't mesh. Other than cheerleading, Leia is in Quiz Bowl and the Robotics Club. Leia explained how now that football was over, Brad was also in those clubs, and so are his friends who the other cheerleaders date. Coral then began crying again because after the Facebook post, her friends explained that their boyfriends don't want to be involved with a liar and advised them to stop hanging out with her. Today at lunch, they didn't sit with her, and she was alone. Mark calmly told her that was her own doing. She broke down and said, I know. Mark then held her in his arms and apologized for sending her the screenshot and explained that I wasn't the bad guy. She then explained that Andrea told her that I forced Mark to get full custody so that we all could be one big happy family. So that, along with the Brad situation, made her lash out. We hugged while she apologized to me, and she apologized to Leia once again. I brought up family therapy, and everyone agreed. Coral took the post down already and apologized to Leia publicly. I know things are looking up, but without friends and this situation with her mom, I'm not sure what's going to happen.